Let's see you jump. My ship's damaged, Chief. I'm liable to crack up if I make another dive. Take the squadron back to the cave and await my orders. Okay. can't get out of the mystery squadron, Cromwell. I'm not trying to get out of the mystery squadron. <laughs> I was never in it. Oh, no, you... Three mystery squadron flyers. We'll give them a taste of their own medicine. Get behind that bank. Stop that gun. They'll never raid that dam again. Wait! We want to find out who their leader is. Wait, we've got to get to Black Gate. Yes, That's we'll get too. Let's take him over to Mr. Gray. He'll know how to make them talk. The plane's warmed up, Dad. I'll get you to a doctor in a jiffy. But I can't leave now, Dorothy. I'm needed here. I'm all right. Really, I am. They've captured some of the mystery flyers. Bring them here, so that I can question them. No, Dad, you're not strong enough. I'll go see what I can find out. Good work, boys. Who is the Black Ace? Why is he trying to ruin my father? So it's you. I said I'd turn you over to the sheriff, but I didn't think it would be so soon. You're mistaken, Miss Gray. I'm not a mystery flyer. I'm Fred Cromwell. Henry Davis hired me to guard the dam. You expect me to believe that? And we caught you trying to destroy it? And you, wearing a squadron uniform? I was tricked into joining the mystery squadron. Then I decided to play along with them, so I could capture the Black Ace. So you know who he is? No, I... I haven't found out yet. Just as I thought. Your whole story is ridiculous. The sheriff will make them tell who their leader is. But no one knows who he is. Not even his own men. All of his orders to the squadron come over the radio. I have no reason to believe anything you say. It's the truth, Miss Gray. And I have a clue to his identity. I'm sure I can capture him if you'll let me get to San Juan. Take them to the sheriff. I'll swear out a warrant for their arrest. All right. The rest of you get back and start repairing the damage. Go ahead.
He's hiding up here somewhere. And the black ace was wounded in the right arm. He'll have to go to a doctor. There's only one doctor within 50 miles of here. That's Dr. Flint at the Tavern Hotel. Good. Let's go there right away. Uh, just a minute. I'm not going to start on any wild goose chase until I've checked your story. I'll call Henry Davis at the Tavern now. A Tavern Hotel. All seems pretty hopeless to me, Davis. Unless we can find out who the black ace is. Don't you worry, Mr. Gray. I'll be back on the job with you in a couple of days. We'll finish the dam in spite of the mystery squadron. Hello? Are you, Mr. Davis? Thank you. Hello? Fred Cromwell. You bet he's on the level, Sheriff. What? Oh, I see. Well, put him on the line. I can identify him by his voice. Fred? What happened to you? It's a long story, Hank. I'll tell you all about it later. The sheriff wants to talk to you again. Then there's no doubt about him, Mr. Davis? Oh, well, thanks. We'll go over to the hotel and see what we can find out from Dr. Flint. But don't you see, the very fact that Fred went straight to the sheriff proves that he's telling the truth. Appearances were certainly against him. Dorothy, I'm afraid you owe that young man an apology. I suppose I do. Where's Dr. Flint? He's taking care of Mr. Gray. Has anybody else been looking for him? Yes, Mr. Johnson. Johnson? The man who owns the contract for the dam. Oh, yes. What's he still hanging around here for? I don't know. He's in and out of here all the time. If Gray fails, this man Johnson could get the contract to finish the dam, couldn't he? What are you driving at, Cromwell? What room is Johnson in? Number 24. Hello. Yes, Johnson speaking. Who? Hi. Try to head him off through the lobby. I'll go down these stairs. Did you see him? No. Well, where's Martin? Hello, Sheriff. Hello, Collins. Who's that? It's Gray superintendent over at the dam. Uh, how did you hurt your arm, Collins? Oh, I just had a little accident over the dam. Were you there when the mystery squadron attacked? Yeah, sure I was. You haven't seen Doc Flynn around, have you, Sheriff? Why, Mr. Collins, where have you been? Did you know that the mystery squadron raided the dam and Dad was hurt? 
So you weren't at the dam during the raid. What right have you to question me? The black ace was shot through the arm. And if that's a bullet wound... Why, surely you don't suspect Mr. Collins. Let's see that arm, Collins. The bullet wound, all right. I'll have to hold you for... Came through the window. Look, there's a gun attached to it. Miss Waddle, address to you, Mr. Collins. What does it say? Unless our men are freed at once, it would be too bad for your partner, Bill Cook. Your mystery squadron can't bluff me, Collins. I'll get Bill out of this. What are you going to do? I've got one of their planes in a mystery squadron uniform. I can fly to their secret cave and... Do you know where it is? I think so. But it's suicide. You can't fight the mystery squadron alone. I'll have to take that chance. Uh, Sheriff, this arm hurts pretty bad. I'd like to get to Dr. Flint as soon as possible. Dr. Flint's in Dad's room, Sheriff. All right. Come along, Collins. Oh, hello, Sheriff. What's this? Uh, Collins is wounded in the arm. He was... I'll uh, take care of him. By the way, Sheriff, Mr. Gray is very anxious to see you. I'll see him now while you're fixing Collins up. I don't forget. He's my prisoner, Doc. Black Ace calling Station A. The Black Ace calling Station A. Station A. Bracken standing by. Cromwell's on his way to the cave in one of our planes. He mustn't get away. Don't worry, Chief. He won't. Cromwell's got his nerve coming back here. We'll give him a warm reception. Grant, don't let Cook out of your sight. Get over there. If you ever want to get that trick done, you better hurry. You ain't got much time left. Hey, where you are? I just want to get my jelly beans. They're the only ones I got left. I'll see that you get them. Yeah. He ought to be here by this time. Don't forget, he doesn't know the landmarks as well as we do. Here he comes now. He's throwing out a smoke screen. Cromwell thinks he's fooling us. It's Cook! 